Hey. Yeah. Yeah, it's all happened pretty quick, but um, it's been great. The camp's been great these past couple of days, first couple of skates. Um, the coaches are really good. Lots of detail in what they teach us, and um, it's been awesome so far, yeah. Who, who here have you most looked forward to meeting? Maybe like the, the higher-ups or the coaches or something like that? Yeah, coaches have been, it's been pretty cool. Like, um, I haven't met everybody yet, but seeing everybody at the, we had like a reception dinner last night. Um, hearing Spezza talk for a while was really cool. Um, like same like with seeing Keith around and um, just everybody you see on TV is pretty cool to, to be in the same building as. What did you think of Jason Spilson? He seems like a, a really, really just down to earth guy. Like obviously super well accoladed, but just super nice guy. And is really there anything he said that stuck out to you? Yeah, we did kind of like a and a and everyone just asked him questions about his career. Um, he really put an emphasis on how much the game's changed and how serious everyone takes it nowadays and how much more time you have to put into it now than like 20 years ago. So um, that was cool to hear. What did you ask him? I asked him one question. It was, um, what did I ask him? Oh, yeah, I asked him uh, what he noticed like with the very best players that he's played with throughout his um, career, like if there's anything he consistently noticed that they did differently than kind of the rest of the pack. He said, um, like their self-awareness was really good. Always being able to, to improve themselves and critique themselves. What is the next stage of your development? I think for me, uh, a bit of everything. Work on getting stronger, quicker, more mature physically. Um, I think I think the game well, and just working on my skills and strength is what I'm going to focus on. What are you hoping to learn from this from a development perspective? Yeah, I think really uh, paying attention to what the coaches are saying. They've got a really good staff here. They know what they're talking about. Um, watching some of the older guys, the guys that have been drafted previously or signed with the AHL team, they're guys that are at the pro level already, so picking up on, on what they do. Yeah, it's been really competitive so far, which is good. Um, I think be a thief, like they're wanting us to really look at what we're learning and kind of be selfish with taking some of the knowledge that we get and incorporating it into ourselves to make ourselves better. Yeah, he's uh, he's really strong and, and powerful out there. Um, he looks uh, really like probably one of the biggest guys out there, so he looks really strong and definitely noticeable. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've, I don't really know what's around here. I've been to Niagara Falls, been to the CN Tower before, been to a Jays game, so um, seen most of the main things. I think what's left is playing in, uh, in the, like the Scotiabank Arena here. So. Yeah, I think like we talked about that during our, our meetings throughout the draft process a bit, what I expected, what they expected, and to me it was kind of, they didn't want to put a ceiling on it with me. They um, said, like, we see you as being a guy who's pretty safe as becoming a, a bottom six guy and playing there, but we also think there's a lot of possibility for you to grow into a, a top six player and develop offensively as well. So uh, they didn't necessarily put a fixed spot on it or put a limit on it. They want me to take my game as far as I can.